So what I didn't know is that you could change the course. Mm. I wish I knew that. Guys, but don't anyway, you love that we are doing this video right now? Anyway, we were the last normal <gasps> graduates. <laughs> oh, hi, hi guys. guys. Welcome, Welcome to Chico's Planet. you got to do to find out if really that course is your passion and it's marketable. It's one thing for you to be your passion but then the project has been working. Yeah, high school is very critical and uh, it's important for you to go for those career fairs, uh, visit these universities and they have anything to do with uh, educating high school people on career choices. <laughs> Those things are very important so that in the first place you know what's on offer, you yeah. know? And then you can check what's on offer and match it to your passion. Yeah. And uh, then it's going to be very seamless for you when you're doing the course thingy. Yeah, and yeah. actually to make it interesting, uh, let's let's just try and know why we did whatever we did in campus. And so that you know that you really need to have your reason straight up. Like when someone asks you why are you doing that course, if you don't have an answer, or if you have an answer, maybe one of the answers we are going to pop up, please know that you need more time to think through that course. Yeah. And another thing that's really uh, key is that yes, course to a quitter, and maybe your parents are like, go the job way. But if what you are called for... Uh, they don't know what job is. Uh, job was oh, our thing. Yeah, and, yeah. and course, whatever course is, and uh, it were a specific course with course, yeah. that doesn't mean you have to do it like, yeah. if you feel that's not what you want, fight to get what you want and study that. Because the, you will save yourself so much time mm -hmm. by making that decision before you even join. Yeah. Some of us, like we said in our mistakes, in Africa second year, you're like, but then why am I doing this course? But anyway, I'm already in it, so let's finish. Yeah. You don't want to be in that space. So, Nash, tell us, why did you do counseling, psychology? You are all classmates, by the way. <laughs> So the obvious reason, I was going to look and find the dollars. But you chose. No. Did you choose it? Let me tell you a funny thing. Yeah. Time yet to, at a time how we choose, yeah. you are still being called for. Oh, yeah. Where according to your points. So yeah. for me personally, when I was in camp, uh, when I was in high school, yeah. I used to love chemistry. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what I was really fighting for is biochem. Mm. Uh -huh. But unfortunately, I didn't get the points too. Yeah. Uh -huh. So when I was called counseling psychology, and because my aunt is really successful in that field yeah two of my aunts but i was like yeah go do it and because i wanted to go in campus yeah. so you mean you didn't actually choose it you know no for me personally you know really when you were after now wow. after finishing high school when you were choosing it alongside the campus really? you guys the way you know me you didn't choose <laughs> down and choose counseling psychology i did oh. i did Okay, uh -huh. it's a mess. Anyway, so, I, I chose it, I chose it, but uh, it was number three. You know, there was um, one yeah. A, B, C, mm. and then two, and yeah, then three. three. Yeah. Yes. It was number three. So, what I didn't know is that you could change the course. Mm. I wish I knew that. Guys, but, don't anyway, you love that we are doing this video right now? Anyways, mm. uh, I still appreciate the fact that I did it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But so please note, you can change your course. Yeah, At Okito, you can go to that school and you may do your course and, and change it. Later, yes. later, I know there's so much bureaucracy yeah. in public, yes, public universities. Yes, but please do what you gotta do to change that course. Yeah. 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 
So uh, for me, I chose counseling psychology. I wanted to do psychology in general, but my points could not. Mm. And so I actually chose counseling psychology, counseling psychology even in the second point. Wow. You know how you know, I was choosing KU, KU, KU because wow. I, I, wow. I was... That mean you let loyal K you die hard. Oh, wow. wow, that's amazing. I am really shocked. And I, I, we should not be shocked because right now she is the only one among us who is, who is holding <laughs> on to this career path. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. So after that disclaimer, guys, I also want to say one last thing. You don't have to do a degree to be successful in life. I think that's also another reason why most people say whatever come may I have to go to campus. No. You don't have to do a degree to be successful in life. Because where we are at right now, the country, the world in general needs problem solvers. Yep. And you know, a degree, all education, all education, without you understanding specific skills for you to solve the problems that are really there. Mm -hmm. hey, Chakana his or paper zako. Yeah. So you need to identify even as you're thinking of the mm. course you're taking, what problem am I trying to solve? Mm. And is it in line with my passion? That's how it goes. You look for a problem, you try to fix in your passion and then look for what is marketable. Those three things and you're good. A degree is not a measure of intelligence. Yeah. So let's go to the pointers. Uh, pointer number one on the experiences and lessons we've got from campus. Prioritize your schoolwork over everything else. Yep. You know, I mean, that's the sole reason you're in campus. Schoolwork, building your career. So mm. maybe one of you guys can just emphasize on how this can really be a struggle <laughs> to prioritize on school. <laughs> what <Wow. laughs> me? I think we are, we are supposed to mainly look at the everything else. You said that we're supposed yeah. to prioritize your studies over, over everything, everything else. else. So look at your everything else yeah. and then that will tell you mm -hmm. uh, where you need to put your uh, focus on. Yeah. So, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. I, I totally agree with that point because mm -hmm. different stages have different priorities. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I remember in campus we started working in Kitambo when we were young. Yeah. And at some point for me I prioritized work more than school, which mm -hmm. obviously affected my school work. Yeah. Yeah. But right now is when I'm focusing on my work. Yeah. So like eventually, but I had to focus yes. on work. Yes. But four years ago, yeah. school was my biggest priority. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, but they put school. It happens. It else. happens because uh, even in my CV, uh, <laughs> there's a gap where I have to explain maybe in an interview that uh, this is where now I went back to school <laughs> uh, to finish my degree. <laughs> you know? And you for them because like they pointed out that they ended up not doing anything about yeah. what they studied yeah. you see their work seemed like a priority you know yes. because now they have all of a sudden discovered that what actually what i'm studying is not what i'm called for mm. so there's a way you can also feel like ah me by the way this is also very important mm. but like she's saying those four years just it's just those four years, well, mm -hmm. unless strikes happen, but it's just four years and then you're, you're good to go. So, yeah. try and maximize those four years because later on, work says it up work. You will be needed to do work mm -hmm. and you will be needed to do it full time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you will need a break that time and you're mm -hmm. going to be like, okay, yeah. how come I was really rushing for those jobs? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, okay. The next, uh, and also you need to know that if you don't prioritize, that's why you go to the calling off of semesters. Oh, yeah. yeah. You finish after you one know, four years. Calling yeah. off a semester becomes an option. Mm -hmm. Like school just becomes the last thing you want to do. Yeah. Yet yeah. it's the main thing that you need to focus on. So please be, be very cautious. Mm -hmm. uh, second point, find balance between your school life yeah. and social life. So again, we are saying focus on school work and mm -hmm. then now we are introducing the social life. Mm -hmm. So in school you can't really just be books, books 24-7. Yeah. You know, campo is just very different. Once you have a clear routine early in campus, uh, you are able to now know uh, time for class, time for social activities, mm -hmm. time for work. But then let's not uh, put away uh, the fact that it's also okay to work mm -hmm. while in yeah. campus. Yeah. You know? yeah, because like those people who go abroad, I mean, they work and... Thanks. Study. Yeah. yeah, so it's okay. It's okay to work and study. And uh, I think have a routine. Mm. Uh, 
a regular one that you stick to, that way it's going to be easy for you. Yeah. So it's just like bringing up a child, mm -hmm. routine. Not yeah. like we're saying, now don't have a social life, mm -hmm. but find that balance. School mm -hmm. is here, social life is here, and you're weighing them with the routines and those schedules. Precisely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another point, freedom resides in campus. You can be anywhere you want, wherever you want to be, with whoever you feel like. So, if you don't take care, like you need wisdom. I feel like this point is just saying wisdom is key. Wisdom and discipline. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wisdom and discipline. Ilo mm unajua, -hmm. okay, today... I feel I can on a Monday morning I can go watch a movie. Well, and <laughs> <laughs> if you yeah. don't mess with your routine, I mean, you go watch a movie. Yeah, so yeah. you enjoy, you need to enjoy campus life, but in a very wise and discreet way. Yes. Point number four: choose friends wisely. Your friends will most likely be, you know, your long life friends. Mm. Yes. So mm. have amazing friends and mm. have amazing memories. Choose your friends in a very shaky way and you'll have so many things to regret about Yeah, and aside from the friends that you have there and uh, maybe you are friends with them in high school mm -hmm. Most of the friends in campus are just your friends because you're together in campus That's it, exactly. nothing else, same classes. Yeah. Mm, nothing more yeah. You also need to know that this is where again romantic relationships are being introduced oh, yeah. So you're not just making friends for network you are making friends who might be your significant other. Mm -hmm. Again, you also need to apply so much wisdom because good relationships have, you know, started from campus yeah. and the worst have also, have also, have also started also. in campus. Yeah. You know? so don't rush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so in short, guys, you're saying. The friends that you make are going to make campus life heavenly and bearable. All the things that you will face and go through, your social life is going to really play a big role. The other point is network. Oh, social yes. network is very vital in your world. As yes. in, he and Lisa are one of those. The way, uh, you remember how Anto was trying to differentiate the friendships, yeah. your acquaintances, and because everyone you meet is a network. Yeah. Either then or when you're out of campus. Yep. So eh, make those good connections before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. bad, bad now yeah. You mm -hmm. don't know where you're going to meet. And even yeah. those lecturers, they may come in very um, handy yeah. mm -hmm. later, like in our case when we were looking for an internship. Mm -hmm. Remember, it's a lecturer yeah. who does that. Yeah. 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 I mean, because yeah. we had been you know, good. Cordial, mm -hmm. you know, with the lecture. Yeah, yeah. And also career, career wise, if you meet yeah. anybody doing what you're studying, yeah. hey, sh talk to them, talk to them, talk to them. And no one is ever too little or how will I say? Wakoko chini. Even your classmates. You know, there are so many people who have gotten their attachments mm -hmm. because you know a classmate got a place yeah. and you yep. know they were told to look for someone else. Mm -hmm. yes. As in hey, yes, 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 hey, yes, hey, yes, yes, yes. Some some of your classmates will be your employers. So you yeah. mention that hey, yes. I'm looking for people, then you yes. just say hi yeah. Very don't mm -hmm. burn bridges. Um because uh, they say treat the people you meet on your way up well because you might meet them mm. on your way down. down yeah. mm. So don't burn okay. any bridges. Yeah. And if you do, because we are young and mm. we are here to learn, yeah. uh, please correct that. Mm. Um, make things right yeah. because you cannot afford to be in your twenties and you have burnt bridges. These are your destiny shapers. These people may come in handy later. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, that's what I would say. I don't know whether this point falls here, mm -hmm. but uh, for those of you who will get to work while you're in, while you're in campus, uh, take care not to get yourself in toxic work environments. Uh, and by toxic work environments, I mean you're in a place where uh, you're not actualizing your potential. Yeah. yeah? Basically, you're there, but uh, you're suffering. I have been there once, and uh, it really did me bad. Mm -hmm. So you need to be in a work environment mm -hmm. if you must yeah. that works for you and makes you grow mm -hmm. and improves your potential eventually so that it can be helpful in the future. Mm -hmm. yes. And remember again, you're not in campus for you to risk working when you're studying. It mm -hmm. needs to be for a goal. 
Exactly. Let not your goal be money. Mm. As in, pesa utapata baadaye. Yeah. Yeah. But this is the time where you're trying to understand. Okay, in this, uh, when I'm going to work, these are the people I'm interacting with. Mm. Ata kama ni bure. You know, this is the time where you can do these volunteers because at the end yes. of the day, you still have this pocket money. Yeah. Yes. You can know how Maybe. to use it. Mm. So let it not be about the money, sahi. Mm. Say kwe to the connections that you're making. Mm. Yes. Because yes, you have the connections in campus, but those ones they just know what you also know a bit. Mm-hmm. But now the ones you're meeting outside when yeah. you're interacting with other people in different yeah. forums, now those ones are on a life. They know beyond what you you're seeing in campus. Yeah. Another one, gain a skill or take your passion to the next level. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we talked about so much extra time. Yes. You can have free time, freedom to do anything. Let the anything also. Uh, involve your passion or yeah. your skills. There are people who do foreign languages when you come back yes. because later it, it will be actually the main goal is for each to be a source of income. Yep. Exactly. And I know yeah. people who are interested in let's say interior design. Yeah. And right now that's what they are making money. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So actually, even like this venue where we are at. This place has been modified by someone who just took interior design as their yeah. passion. Mm-hmm. Yes. They didn't have to go to school, mm-hmm. but just doing your research, YouTube University, mm-hmm. anything like this. So much time for you to just plug yourself in and learn and learn yes. skills. So yeah. yes. again, the goal is for you to make sure that it gets to mm-hmm. bring in some money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another point, hey, we came to realize school strikes, long holidays, and now recently the pandemic. Can derail you. Yeah. Una ingia, ukichwa, una kamia, kani ne? Six years later, mm. <laughs> you're still, still in school. school. How so, long did we stay though? Since twenty. We stayed for five. Yes, five. by the way, we did five. five. Good, After yeah. the five. Wow. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I think it was school strikes. <laughs> school strikes, especially. Uh, yeah. Public universities, you have the long holidays. Yes. Which is now imagine yeah. COVID. What COVID has done to the people yes. in campus? We were the last normal <gasps> graduates. <laughs> oh, with that <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. So it's yeah. one of those. Yeah. Be very, yeah. very yeah. aware yeah. that there might be in betweens where you're not in school. Yeah. Yeah. And so if you had uh, figured the, the whole scheduling and routine mm-hmm. for yourself, now can you say some passions, mm-hmm. my friend? Aki, it won't be easy for you to feel like. Yeah. Because these are the times if you had a volunteer space, I know I'll be a bit less as a super I can yeah. come every day. Exactly. I can even come on Saturdays. You know, yeah. if you had like a passion you're doing maybe photography yes. now, like you're all in with your clients, yes. you even have time to even do side courses. Like this is the time for you to just oh, say yeah, school yeah. break needs to be to my advantage. Yeah. yeah. But most of the time it's like you're trying oh, to la, la. Hey, movies, and, binge watching. And don't say you are this kind of a thing person. Yeah. Try coding, try knitting. You know, try everything. Try everything. Once you do it, that's when you realize mm. you can't. Yeah. Do it. Because yeah. this is where the hassles begin. Yeah. I mean, if you are third year, fourth year, this is when yes. you are almost done with school. Yes. So you don't want it to be those people who are waiting. Mm finish, graduate, exactly. then get employment, my friend, you will shout open the door <laughs> and you're gonna wait. Other point, it's never too soon to start on savings, budgeting, investments. Mm. Actually, they say start now. When you think about investments, start That's researching not. now because you also don't want to, to venture into things yes. that you have not researched on or yes. you know you are a bit fizzled or doubting. Yeah. But start now. Mm-hmm. I think the times where people have had exposure in terms of earning, it starts in campus. Yes. And so you will find out most of us, like we said, we were doing this promotional job and stuff. Uta continue to use what you did with that money. Machozi. Machozi. Like me, like you Nasema. Okay, some people will tell you, hey, you have been working for quite some time. I mean, like good for you. Mm-hmm. They're saying good for you because they think financially okay. Yes. But you have nothing to show for you. You know? Yeah. Ah, this is the time where you get to have yes. so many pennies. If you don't yes. plan on how to use them, and you do, come on, how to you are now? Save. Like Just it, save yeah. a portion. And it's also, not to but yeah. save. And also do research on uh, how you can get yourself involved in passive income mm-hmm. this early. Yeah. 
because now then you have enough time for it to become something you know? yeah, yeah yeah and right now you don't have so many responsibilities mm. you know you don't have uh, probably you don't even have a rent to pay yeah. uh, or bills to pay mm. so just just i mean yeah put the money in a money market fund or something yeah. you know let it yeah. grow so yeah and these days the information not just includes to the people who are doing economics yes. you yes. know yes. Yes. you get to even if you have friends who are doing these courses mm -hmm. get to ask them such questions because even them they are now diving into them trying to identify yeah. and then again social media so many people are now taking this info on social media yeah, yeah. Yeah. so you can't say that you didn't know mm -hmm. yeah such, this research. everything is online yeah. yeah and even our parents like these are the times when you start those conversations where mm -hmm. how do you save your money because it's until you ask them some of them have not gotten to the point where they feel it's uh -huh. time you know because they're still providing for you yes. some of them or yes. your guardians just be very inquisitive mm -hmm. and the last uh, point of was having a personal relationship with god very important i mean all these things you have said they look so complex i mean it's too yes. much like yes. can i just walk into campus and live life again we say this there's so many decisions that we are making mm -hmm. from the time you're joining the choice of friends yes. you start with the choice of career yes choice of campus yeah. choice of where you're going to stay mm -hmm. choice of we've heard of so many people even losing their lives because of where they stay in yep. campus mm -hmm. yep. as if there's so many things to decide that when you think of it all being about you, well, yeah, it's it's and yeah. you know the thing with this is even like even about getting a church, you know, a, a spiritual family. What you engi, you're coming from far, so church your home, you may your home. But mm. after most times, people don't go to church. Yeah. As in, you're in campus. Yeah. Yeah. Your parents are the ones who are telling you, "Let me Sunday, let's go." But again, here comes the freedom. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have someone to tell me today is Sunday. Yeah. You know how weekends can be uh -huh. very lively in campus. Yeah, yeah. they can. Friday, form, Saturday, for us, ah, Sunday, Pia, there is form. Yes. So for me personally, I think having gotten to have a church and this happened like when I was in second year yeah. it really changed yeah. because again this is also a place where you get to interact with other people other yeah. young people from other campuses and it was more of just getting to connect and understand I'm growing spiritually mm -hmm. growing into my church and then getting to also have more networks mm -hmm. more friends you know it's just that thing of as long as you're putting yourself out there in the spaces that you yeah. need to mm -hmm. yes. hey like campus life becomes so beautiful yeah, in psychology yeah. we say a healthy being is healthy physically, psychologically, socially, and spiritually. Yeah. So um, don't uh, neglect any of the four. Yeah. I mean, uh, spirituality is important mm -hmm. as as much as physical health is important, yeah. and your social health and your psychological well-being. Yeah. Yes, that's it from the lessons uh, we have. Something you'd share about? Mm -hmm. You have clearly stated all the important <laughs> points. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it's interesting because, you know, when you look at it right now, there's almost that feeling of, I wish I knew all this. Yeah, I, know, I was in I campus. Know, I know, I know. Some things we knew them. We yeah. knew. Exactly. But we just didn't practice. That's the thing. As I say, <laughs> you will watch this video, you will be reminded of these things if you're joining campus. Yeah. And trust yeah, yeah. me, you'll get out of campus and you'll be saying, Hiya. You know, I knew this, I knew about savings, I, I knew about yeah. I knew about what. Yeah. At times it's very sad that we always want to learn from our own experiences. Yeah. But at least we have put it out there. Now it's yeah. up to you yeah. to either share with a, a friend who's joining campus or just anyone you think needs this information. And now we're going to go to a different series next time, which is going to be about everything out of campus. So stay tuned. Please remember to subscribe and see you on the next sit down with Shiko's planner.